hi guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video is going to be a little different than what i've been posting but i have posted a video similar to this one before so i'm going to be customizing my boring home screen and lock screen as you can see with an app called screen kit and it is an app with a little over 500 widgets 5,000 app icons 500 aesthetic themes and wallpapers so i'm going to show you how the app works and i'm going to show you how i turn this home screen into a beautifully aesthetic home screen go to your app store look up screen kit and download it and let's get started so once you open the app they will ask you about your theme preferences including anime classic neon pastel abstract my suggestion is to click on all of them because you never know what each theme offers and they do updates on the app so maybe they'll put something that you will like. So I'm just going to give you a little quick tour on the app. At the top as you can see are all the themes that the app has to offer and there's a lot. It's a whole abundance. Next to app icons are wallpapers and there are a lot to choose from. We are on the stylish column and next to stylish is calendar where you can use uh, this little calendar to put on your lock screen. The next to wallpapers are your widgets. You can create your own or use their suggested ones. And here are my past widgets that I've created. So under design, they have the different types of widgets that they have. They have clock, calendar, to-do, and weather, and you can click on one. You can customize it to your liking. And they have the small, medium, and large size options. I'll just use small as an example, and then once you press confirm, it will take you to their customization page. So in customize, you can change the background color, you can use their aesthetic palette, you can change the font, font style or font color, basically anything. Then at the very bottom, since we're doing weather, you have the option to use Celsius or Fahrenheit. Once you're all done, make sure you press save and it should be on your widgets. And then you can go back to your home screen. Then to add a widget, you need to long press anywhere on the screen and on the top left corner, there's a plus sign, you click on it and then on search widgets, you need to look for screen kit. And then since we customized a small widget, we need to use the small one. So click on add widget, click on it, and then select edit widget, and click on choose. And since we did weather widget too, you click on your widget, and that should show on your home screen. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to add photos on to your widgets. Under design, you can click on photo widget. I'll just use small and then click on the image icon. Select your image and you have the option to change the background and border color or use their aesthetic palette. Then when you're done, go back to your homepage and do the same things as we did on the last widget. Then the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use their suggested widgets onto your home screen because they do have some really cool ones there. Then once you click on one, they'll show you instructions on how to set it up, but I'll just talk you through it. So then go back to your homepage, long press on your screen, and click on the plus sign, look up screen cut. And then this time, let's use a medium widget. Click on that and then click on edit widget and choose then underneath my widgets or your widgets are their suggested ones. So they have Halloween theme, elegant green calendar theme, and basically you just pick one and there it is. So I guess I skipped on how to set up your wallpaper. So go back to wallpaper, um, select one and then click on install and that wallpaper should be saved to your photos. Then you have the option to set up the wallpaper as a lock screen or a home screen or both. I guess I'm working backwards, so let's go back to app icons. And on here, they'll show you all their themes, which includes the wallpaper and the icons for your apps. 
I've chosen a white minimalistic background, then click on easy install and on here they have all the icons, widgets, and wallpapers. So to create an icon, click on here and I'll show you how to use shortcuts and then next I'll show you how to do the easy way. So to do this, you need the shortcuts app and then you click on the plus sign in the corner, click on add option and look up, open app. Then you click here and then you look up the app that you're going to do. So in my case, I did camera, then click on the three dots and click on add to home screen. Then you would rename the shortcut camera and then click here to change the image. So choose photo and that image should be saved to your gallery. Then once you're all done, click add and you should be good to go. Your icon, your app icon should be shown in your home screen. So since we have two icons for camera, you want to move the original one to your app library. Make sure you don't delete it. So that's one way to add your icons. The next way is to click on change app icon and it'll take you to a link. And then you click on here. Select add to home screen. Then click on add and that should be automatically added to your home screen. So that is how you use the Screen Kit app and it shouldn't take you that long to customize your homepage because the app already has everything for you. You just have to install it. So here is what my first page looks like and my second page looks like this and I don't want all of that so I'll show you how to get rid of it. So click on an app and then click on Edit Home Screen then click on the minus sign and remove from home screen. This doesn't delete your app, but it moves it to the app library. So after working on it for a few minutes, here is what my homepage looks like. So for my lock screen, I changed it to a calendar so it's easy for me to know what date and day it is. And then here is what my first page of my home screen looks like. So I added a calendar with the moon and then I also added a clock. Then here is what my second page looks like. I added a weather and an image. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you found this video helpful and you should download Screen Kit app because it is an amazing app. Now I feel more organized and my phone looks a lot better than it was before. So make sure you check out Screen Kit and see what they have to offer. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll try to answer it. You guys have a good day or night, wherever you are, and peace out.